This is question number six. We're told the gradient dy by dx of a curve of a point x comma y is given by dy by dx is 10x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 5. We're told the curve passes through the point 1 comma 4. In part A for three marks, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to the curve of the point P, giving our answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c. A tangent is just a straight line. For the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need a point that it passes through, which we've got, and also a gradient. We can get the gradient by using the gradient function when x is equal to 1. So what we're going to have then is the point P, and that will have now the coordinates 1, 4. So we can say now when x is equal to 1, dy by dx, the gradient function, will be 10 lots of 1 to the power of 4, minus 6 lots of 1 to the power of 2 plus 5. So we're going to have 10 minus 6 plus 5, which is going to now give me 9. So we've got a gradient and a point that it passes through. All I'm going to do is sub this into the equation of a straight line. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m for gradient x minus x1. You can, of course, use y is equal to mx plus c. So y minus 4 is equal to 9 multiplied by the quantity x minus 1. Expanding the brackets on the right-hand side and adding 4 to both sides, we'll have 9x minus 9 plus 4, so that will give me minus 5. So that's the equation of our tangent in the form y is equal to mx plus c. In part b for 5 marks, we need to find the equation of a curve. So what we need to do is integrate. And I can state that y will be equal to the integral of 10x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 5. And we're integrating now with respect to x. So we raise by a power and divide by the new power. So we'll have 10x to the power of 5 divided by the new power 5 minus 6x to the power of 3 divided by the new power 3 plus 5x to the power of 1 divided by 1 plus a constant of integration. What I'm going to do is just tidy this up. So we can say y is equal to 2x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus 5x plus c. We can find the value of c by taking the point p. We've got p which is 1 comma 4. We're simply going to sub these in to find c and then write the equation of the curve. So 4 will be equal to 2 lots of 1 to the power of 5 minus 2 lots of 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 lots of 1 plus c. So what we're going to have now is the following. 4 will be equal to 2 minus 2 plus 5 plus c. So we can see from this that c is going to be equal now to minus 1. I'm just going to put the minus 1 back and we can write that y is equal to 2x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1. So that's our five marks in total for integrating and finding now the value of c.